Well, Paul, that's the first time you've tasted defeat this season. How is it feeling? Yeah, it's a it's hard to take really. Obviously, um, we've done really well over the last few weeks. Played most teams off the field, uh, but today we came across a very stubborn Stavely team. First half put us under a lot of pressure, closed us down very quickly, and great credit to them. They, they didn't concede many chances against us in the first half. We thought we'd wear them down in the second half, but as it was, they probably got a goal against the run of play. Gave them a lot of heart, and after that we sort of huffed and puffed to try and get a goal. They got the second goal. Two good finishes. One was a slight deflection, but um, good finish. I thought the eleven was a good player for them. Did really well coming in off the wings. Uh, then we got a, a lifeline when Sparksy got a goal back. And last 10, 15 minutes probably deserved an equaliser. Tomo's Tomo had hit the bar earlier on with a great header. Um, we had lots of chances, but mm. nothing clinical really. It was all sort of Hit and hope. Um, Looked like three penalties were waved away today. What did the referee have to say? I talked to him, you know, we're two one down and we're, we're probably firing a lot of high balls in just to try and get an equaliser and there was a lot of scrambling going on. But, you know, a lot of fans, including yourself, James, who were behind the goal, who were fair people, have said that we should have had at least one, never mind two or three. Uh, he went to blow for one and then. Looked like he was going to play the advantage, but didn't bring it back. Well, he mentioned. I went in afterwards, um, and I spoke to him, and I, I just said, "Can you tell me why he didn't give the penalty?" And he goes, "Well, he hit the bar, and I thought you were going to get the rebound." And I goes, "Yeah, but we didn't. So why didn't you just give us a penalty?" And he goes, "Well, it was six and two threes. They were both pulling each other. Um, this this was at a stage where we put Josh Green in on because he was desperate to try and go and get us a goal." And he actually hit the bar as the kid was pulling him down. If he doesn't pull him down, it's he gone. makes it too all yeah. and we, we get away with the draw. But, you know, it's it's all about how we bounce back now. We've got a week's rest. We've played a lot of games and maybe it just caught up with us. We've played two games a week for the past four weeks. So, um, you had some changes to the starting eleven as well today. Yeah. Um, Josh has pulled up. In Josh the has pulled up in the warm up, which was a, m a massive blow for us and a, and a great incentive for Stavely. I could hear him all saying, "Greening's not playing. Greening's not playing." And obviously, when you've got a player who's banging form like Josh is, uh, it does make a difference, and it gave them a lot of heart. And I said to the players before, and one team, one player don't make a team. We keep talking about a squad. Obviously, we'd left Callum out for discipline reasons after. Tuesday night um, and Carl still suspended so yeah we were a bit like lightweight up front but Vinny came in and did really well Tomo tried to play the, the, the nine role but you, you're playing players in positions where they're not comfortable at times so you know we sort of played Terry more advanced role um, but you know it's one of those things we, we probably had chances to equalise didn't take them and uh, we just got to move on. On to Pickering then next week, a big local derby, hoping for a, another bumper crowd. Bumper crowd, and we need to get a positive reaction to, to getting beat. You know, some lads haven't tasted defeat, so um, we've got to bounce back with the right attitude. We've got to train hard on Tuesday night and Thursday night. Um, and we'll look forward to getting our best team on the field next Saturday and getting a positive result. Mitch's men have been doing really well. They've They've won against Hansworth and they've won at Cleethorpe's midweek. I know they've lost today, but they score goals, but they do concede goals as well. So, it, same as us, should be an entertaining game, probably 3 all. <laughs> yeah, just a uh, quick note on Josh then, how's his injury? Um, we didn't risk him because of the game against Pickering and the game against Hena next week. Um, it's not, it wasn't a million miles away, but we thought if he actually sprinted, it would possibly go and he could be out for a month or something like that and obviously we don't want that because he's, he's our play, well all our players have been on form but he's been outstanding so we thought we'd rather have missed one game than miss a month of games for him so so yeah he should be fit for next Saturday. And just a quick mention about Callum, is Callum looking to be back in the squad, mentioned there were some disciplinary issues, is that relating to when he came off 
Tuesday night? Yeah, he came off and he didn't show the right attitude and we've spoke about it before and hopefully he's learnt his lesson he's, and it's a lesson for all the players. You know, you've got to be disciplined when you play for Tadcaster Albion. They're the rules now and, and everyone's got to abide by them. So, yeah, he's learnt his lesson, he's took it on the chin and he'll train Tuesday and we'll move on to Saturday and he'll be available for selection. Any news on the squad? You look, you got some injuries still. Andy Milne still recovering. Is he getting closer? Yeah, should only be a couple of weeks away, maybe a week away. Um, Tom Class will be back for the Hina game. He's been away on holiday for two weeks. Um, Carl should be available for the Hina game if if the Sunday morning team get their game in uh, this tomorrow and following. Sunday misses mm. the Pickering game because the game was called off last week. Have you got enough in the squad to bounce back? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt, we've got I would say the strongest squad in the league. You know, there's players who can't get even on the squad um, at Tadcast at the moment. You know, Young Banks has not been able to get back in. Who's done really well for us? Um, so yeah, we've got a full squad of players, and we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Still sitting top of the league with the workshop getting beat. Yeah, that was that was a good result for Bridlington. Chuff for Brid, one of my old teams. Uh, they've done well. They've got a young team, and obviously 